Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may we rise for the national anthem. to take the opening prayer. In Jesus' name. Father, we want to bless you this afternoon. We ask that you come and take preeminence over what we're about to do. We cover this arena with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. We declare this event open in the name of God, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Your Excellency, Yeso is the one we came, C-O-N, G-S-S-R-S, Life Bencher, Governor of River State, and his lovely wife, Her Excellency, Honorable Justice, Berichi Suzette Yeso Mwike. Our special guest, His Royal Highness, Alhaji Aminu Ado Bayero, C-F-R, Emir of Kanu. Your Excellency, Dr. Mrs. Ipalibo Hari Banigo, DSSRS, Deputy Governor of River State. Your Excellency, Sir Dr. Peter Odili, CON, GSSRS, former Governor of River State. And his lovely wife, Her Excellency, Honorable Justice Mary Odili, JSC, retired. The right honor. Speaker, River State House of Assembly, Honorable Justice Wosu Iheme, PhD, Presiding Judge, Court of Appeal, Oka Division. Honorable Justice Adama Iyayilamikara, DSSRS, former Chief Judge of River State, Ambassador Desmond Akawa, Chairman, People's Democratic Party, River State, Professor Mrs. Ngozi Odu, Running mate to the PDP standard bearer in River State, Right Honorable Prince Chibudom Wuche, OFR, former Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives, Distinguished Senators, members of the National and State Assembly, members of the State Executive Council, Your Majesty, King Dr. Danderson Douglas Jaja, CFR JP, JK V, Treaty King, and Amanabal for Pobo. Chairman, River State Council of Traditional Rulers, and your Royal Majesties and Royal Highnesses here present, elder statesmen, special advisors, President Nigeria Medical Association, the MD Julius Berger Nigeria Limited and his team, Chairman of Local Government Councils, the New Rivers Women, Vision Women Team, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the commissioning of Dr. Peter Odili, Cancer and Cardiovascular Diagnostic and Treatment Center, built by the administration of His Excellency, Yesu Ezewonwike, -E C-O-N, G-S-S-R-S, Life Venture,
Governor of River State. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I at this point respectfully invite for the presentation of Kola, His Royal Majesty, Eze Chike Walu Wodo, Eze Ohapara, the fourth of Apara Kingdom. Atimba River State, Mecca, and Biala, where our visitors and Biala have their book of time. Omena de Lala. Welcome once again to River State. Uh, we're right now in Obiapo local government area, one of the two local government areas that uh, may, uh, that uh, come together to um, to give us what we call the Port Harcourt Metropolis. Um, today is the 14th day of November 2022, and the River State government has resumed uh, resumed inauguration and flag off of projects constructed by the administration of Governor Yesum Wike. Today is the turn of the turn of the Dr. Peter Odili Cancer and Cardiovascular Diagnostic and Treatment Center. It is located in this community we call Rumokuta, Rumokuta community it is the host community of this very, very laudable project um, envisioned and uh, constructed by uh, the River State Governor, Yeson Wike, his administration, which is in its twilight now, just about uh, barely seven months, uh, give and take six months um, to the end of this administration. So we are here today to inaugurate this project. A few moments ago, um, we had the arrival of the man who this project was named after himself, former Governor of River State. He was the Governor of River State from the 29th of May um, to uh, 1999 to the 29th of May 2007, succeeded by um, uh, uh, Governor Yesum, we, uh, Governor uh, Chibiki Amechi, I beg your pardon. So he arrived first, and moments later, the Governor of River State himself, um, the chief host of this event, um, followed, he, followed uh, he, he arrived, and the um, program had to be put on hold for the special guest of honor to arrive. And that's talking about His Royal Highness Alhaji Aminu Ado Bayero CFR Emir of Kano. Um, his arrival, um, with his arrival, this project, uh, this program um, uh, began in earnest. National anthem has been taken, and right now we have um, our traditional rulers doing the um, routine presentation of cola to show that the community welcomes um, their guest today, and the community is happy, has endorsed what is going on here today. It's indeed a, a special day for not just the people of Rumokuta, um, but of course the people of River State and um, the entire country, as we will hear in detail uh, much later. Once again, my name is Uche Ukoro. I'm welcoming you to Port Harcourt. Um, uh, enjoy the rest of our broadcast from here. Yeah. 
dancers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please let's put our hands together for Like Man's Choral Group. May I now invite the Rumokuta women. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please can we put our hands together for Rumokuta women? Thank you so much. Please let's put our hands together for them one more time yes, as a dancer. Okay. Thank you. I, I, oh, 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 hey. Thank you so much. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I now invite your body, cultural group.
Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please can we put our hands together for Bonnie Cultural Group. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, for the project description, may I invite the Honorable Commissioner, Ministry of Health, River State, Professor Princeville Chike, MD, DMP. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of River State. Chief Barrister Nyesom Ezewawike, Commander of the Order of the Niger, Grand Service Star River State, Live Bencher, and the Project Governor of the, the country. Your Excellency, please, may I adopt the already established protocols for want of time? Our guest here today, I'm one of the happiest persons to be here for the commissioning of this special project. This edifice, which is to handle two of the special cases that eliminate human beings from this part of the, from the earth, it does not consider age, does not consider sex, cancers, and cardiovascular problems. This edifice occupies a space of 43,000 square meters, extending towards the far of my right, where you have the helipad, and some green areas. But the construction site itself is 3,000 square meters, where we have the construction of the, the cancer and cardiovascular center itself. And the ground floor of this cancer and cardiovascular center, you have the area where you have first reception. From reception, we have an area where you have a common area that is very rare in most cancer and diagnostic areas, the bunker, which is supposed to be the safest place in Nigeria today. You ask me why. If there's an atomic bomb 
and our excellency, our VIPs are in there, they will be protected. But when the machines start functioning, it is the most dangerous place to see. The handling of cancer cases will commence from this area. Like I said in the ground floor, we also have an area where you have the laundry on the ground floor. In the first floor, you also have an area where you have the radiology and oncology areas. Of course, you ask radiology, oncology, chemotherapy, and the rest of them, where you use chemicals to handle can cancer cases and radioactive substances to handle them. In this, that same floor, you also have other facilities that will handle cancer cases. In the second floor, you have the cardiovascular area where you have the catheterization, cardiac catheterization lab, what we call the cat lab. And of course, the, the theaters, there are three theaters provided for this facility. F furnished with the state of the art equipment, the most latest equipment, of course, that the General Electric has supplied to this part of the world. In that same area, you also have other facilities for other procedures, including endo um, fiber optic procedures. In the third floor, you also have, in the second floor, you also have where you have investigative equipment, where you have the MRI, magnetic nuclear resonance imaging techniques equipment, which is the most latest we have in this part of the world. You also have the computerized axial tomography, the C80 scan equipment provided. Of course, the scan machine and the mammography equipment also provided for this facility. They are all there to assist. Of course, the other equipments needed for pro 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 diagnosis and management of cancer cases and cardiovascular cases are, are provided here. In the third floor, we we'll have the wards, all the VIP wards and the general wards for cancer patients. I want of time, I will not be able to add all. But the, there are other ancillary additions for this particular facility. The arranged power supply system. We have an arrangement series of two 1,000 kVA generating sets and 800 generating sets provided at the ex Look at my left, that end. You also have the water treatment plant as far as incinerators to manage medical waste. Of course, you know the implication of managing medical, medical waste. There is also the provision of accommodation for doctors. The doctors have an accommodation. His Excellency, in his wisdom, has also acquired somewhere nearby around the area for other medical personnel, nurses, lab scientists, and other researchers. So in this facility, for want of time, this is the much I can say, but I tell you, what we have here cannot be found in any part of this country in Nigeria, as I speak to you. The latest of the equipment, the most important equipment in the attack of two deadly problems of mankind, cancers and cardiovascular problems, will now be handled here to also reduce medical tourism and mortality. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Dr. Peter Odele Cancer and Cardiovascular Diagnostic and Treatment Center. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. To give a remark on behalf of the contractor, Julius Berger, Nigeria Limited, may I invite the Managing Director, Dr. Lars Richer. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of River State, Chief Barista Nelson Wieke, CUN, and the lovely wife. Um, His Royal Highness uh, Ado Bayero, CFR, the Emir of Kano. The former Governor, uh, Dr. Peter Odili, also with his wife. And Her Excellency, the Deputy Governor of River State. Distinguished guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to adopt existing protocols. On behalf of the entire management and staff of Julius Berger Nigeria PLC, and especially the staff working tirelessly here in Port Harcourt, I share the honor of welcoming you on this very meaningful occasion. The commissioning ceremony of the Sir Dr. Peter Odili Cancer and Cardiovascular Disease Diagnostic and Treatment Center. Julius Berger was awarded this landmark project only 14 months ago. 
and incredibly, we gather now before a state-of-the-art and modern medical facility specialized in its functioning to deliver high-level diagnosis and treatment for chronic disease in Nigeria. The Dr. Peter Odili Cancer and Cardiovascular Disease Diagnostic and Treatment Center has been designed specifically as a cancer treatment facility featuring advanced healthcare services such as chemotherapy and nuclear medicine. With this capabilities to also provide treatment for cardio, cardiac diseases with full support infrastructure, system, and equipment. The three-story hospital building provides 72 beds for patient accommodation, including a full chemotherapy ward, a dedicated ICU and CCU patient accommodation ward, critical care areas for immune-compromised patients, and private isolation bed areas. In addition, the facility also features outpatient capacities, a fully equipped pathology laboratory, a fully equipped radiology department with both MRI and CT scanning, doctor's consulting rooms, a pharmacy, as well as a coffee shop and restaurant facilities for visitor and patient refreshments. This visionary project was conceived by our governor, His Excellency Chief Barista Wieke, in response to an urgent need for state-of-the-art, high-quality healthcare in Nigeria, for modern facilities with high-functioning equipment. The significance of this hospital project cannot be underscored. It serves a catalyst and inspiration and as a new standard for the development of essential healthcare solutions in Nigeria. It serves to alleviate suffering and provide next-level care, reducing the need to seek treatment abroad and making River State the new medical tourism destination. I commend you, Your Excellency, for your vision, foresight, and courage to undertake this momentous project and so many others that have revitalized River State for the benefits of the river people and Nigeria, of the entire management and board of directors of Judas Berger. I thank you for your trust and for continuing to avail our company the opportunity to deliver on your transformation agenda. Thank you. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I crave your indulgence as we showcase a six minutes documentary showing us the facility of the Dr. Peter Odeli Cancer and Cardiovascular Diagnostic and Treatment Center. It was on the 6th of July 2021 that the Dr. Peter Odeli Cancer and Cardiovascular Diagnostic and Treatment Center was flagged off in Romokuta town of Obia local government area of River State. The River State Governor, Yesom Izawiki, conceived the project. The flag off was performed by the Minister of Health, Dr. Osagi Henry, who commended Governor Wiki for the project. For him, the Cancer and Cardiovascular Diagnostic and Treatment Center will augment the assets available to treat non communicable diseases and CDS in Nigeria. <laughs> Governor Wiki named the center after former governor of River State, Dr. Peter Audley, as a better way to honor a man who has contributed so much to the state. Sir Dr. Peter Audley, even people who didn't do anything for them, people are naming things after them, not to talk about somebody who has contributed to the development of this state. Some of us may not have been governor today. But for the way the former governor has packaged us and his wife, the way they have packaged us from beginning, not as a governor today, from beginning.
But what you've done with, with the activity that started today, the building of this special, unique, specialized center for the two greatest killers, cardiovascular problems and cancer. Second to none in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Second to none. After the flood of exercise, construction work began on this transcontinental project. Civil engineers and workers of Julius Bagger Nigerian PLC mobilized to site thereafter, declared the site of debris. Everything it does without compromising quality. There are three theaters, catheterization laboratory, radiotherapy, brachytherapy, and nuclear medicine equipment installed at the Dr. Peter Odili Cancer and Cardiovascular Diagnostic and Treatment Center. Also installed is a modern incinerator that will mitigate pollution plus other power plants of 1,000-1,800 kV capacity in series that will ensure regular supply of electricity to the entire health facility. Another unique feature of the center is the residential quarters that has been provided for doctors whose services are engaged in the center. They will live within the premises to ensure quick responses to cases. There's also an helipad provided which will allow for aircraft to land on emergency and at other times. Largely, there are green loan areas clearly marked out within the premises. They are intended to promote healthier feelings and reduce stress among patients and workers alike. Installed and pledged the support of the U.S. government to the center. Plus, equipment is really heartening to see so many U.S. companies well represented here, uh, and to, to see it, it's really a testimony of the impact that U.S. technology is having in Nigeria and around the world as we work together to save lives. And honestly, it's it's such a reflection of the great work that's already being done in this state. The center features advanced healthcare services that include, among others, a chemotherapy and declare medicine. It can be proudly said and River State. This initiative is also to reduce, if not stop, foreign trips by most Nigerians who go out to seek such health care services. The River State Governor, Yesomozo Wike, who is the infrastructure delivery governor, has unequivocally added this facility to the many other health care delivery initiatives and facilities that have been implemented to make River State a hub for medical tourism. It promised delivery like uh, uh, all of that projects that we've been doing.
Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to give his goodwill message, may I invite the President of Nigeria Medical Association, Dr. Uche Ojima. Your Excellency, Barista Yes, of week, Executive Governor of River State, GSSR, and the pillar of sports in Africa. I will not forget that because I was here last as chairman of NMA National Sports Committee and you hosted us. Thank you very much. Your lovely wife, I greet you. His Royal Highness, the Emir of Kano. Let me go over to the Deputy Governor, my senior colleague in dermatology. I respect you. Let me recognize um, His Excellency, Sir Dr. Peter Odele, a great medical elder that we respect so much. In fact, let me tell you that very soon we will elevate him to the level of the gods in medicine so that he can sit with Hippocrates and Esculapius and look after us. He has contributed to healthcare delivery services and is now into medical education. These are the two prongs that make you a god in medicine. Thank you, sir. Your lovely wife, ever lovely, will always be lovely. Justice of the Supreme Court retired. Let me recognize the presiding justice of the Court of Appeal. Da Chioma will see her, man. She knows why I said that. Thank you very much, and all other protocols observed. Your Excellency, let me tell you that you are in spirit. Why I say you are in spirit is that from the 1st of October this year till today, we have been into cancer awareness and prevention protocols in the health sector. The whole of October was dedicated to awareness for breast cancer. And when they say breast cancer, I notice that men move on. You also have breasts. Please check your breast as a man. You can have breast cancer. So let me tell you that. Now, this month is Lung Cancer Awareness Month. And suddenly, one thing we've been crying about is a treatment center for cancer. We don't have. This may be either the first, second or third linear accelerator that is functional in Nigeria today. That is what you are doing here, sir. So congratulations. And you have made me to realize that delay in project and abandonment of project is not a normal in Nigeria. God will continue to bless you. Your Excellency Sabit Odele, for remembering you and recognizing you, Nigeria Medical Association is grateful to the Governor of River State. Um, the functions of the NMA President is basically three in summary to promote and protect the interest and welfare of Nigerian doctors, to promote and protect the interest and welfare of Nigerian patients, and to promote public health awareness in Nigeria. These are basically what I do. Now, I came to River State in a hurry when you called me, because Port Harcourt has been good to me. I became a medical doctor in Port Harcourt. I became a married man in Port Harcourt. I became the president of NMA in Port Harcourt. So it is my town, and I claim it. So having built this, Your Excellency, you have fulfilled two out of my three functions. You are taking care of the patients. You are also helping to promote public health. The only thing remaining which I will plead with you is to protect the interest and welfare of the doctors in River State. I know that the chairman of NMA River State will come to you, kindly give him a listening ear, so that they will remain and make this project functional. God bless you, and God bless the good people of River State. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to give his remark, 
May I respectfully invite the former governor of River State, His Excellency Sir Dr. Peter Odili, C-O-N, G-S-S-R-S. On your massage, oh, let us go. On your massage, oh, let us go. On your massage, oh, let us go. Everybody, let's go. Let us go. Your Excellency, your well-crafted documentary has deleted what I wanted to say today. When this project was flagged off, everything I said about you, you have not only altered that you've taken to a level where the takeoff point is the sky. The best governor in Nigeria, the best governor that River State has produced, and we are praying for your successor and others that will follow him to struggle hard to see your brake light. Today, the courage and the vibrancy that people claim I used to have I can see myself not the strong man that I thought I was, but a very, very humbled man. So permit me, if I fail to vibrate the way you used to know, because of all the things that has happened to us in life, today is not only unique, but so emotionally touching that it is difficult for me to know how to begin. So, Your Excellency, our tireless governor, the special guest of honor, and our friend going back to your father's era. We feel very, very honored that you answered the invitation of our governor to be here, to revive the old spirit and friendship that has always existed during the tenure of your father with reverse people. And so I plead with you using this opportunity to hold on to our governor, revive the old friendship, stand with him. If you stand with Governor Wike, you can walk without your aids you can walk with your eyes closed. He's a man you can depend on. And so on behalf of Rivers people, I want to thank you for doing us, through him, the honor of coming for today's event. My dear brothers and sisters, today is unique. This governor that God gave us in 2015 has the hand of God on his head all the time. And that is why 
despite the fact that he belongs to a different party from the one that is in control on Abuja, they couldn't resist crowning him the best governor for infrastructure in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. When your opponent declares you a winner, then you are a winner for all times. And that's what you are. Your Excellency, posterity will honor you. God will bless you. God will bless your children. You and your wife will live to your old age honored, blessed, served by all the lives you have touched. Where do I start? I will selfishly start from the medical sector by saying that I think Somehow you missed your profession. You should have been a doctor. Why do I say so? Look at all the medical infrastructure you put in place. Second to none in the history of this country and in all the states in this country, none, none can see your bright light in your healthcare program. Look at this edifice. The Honorable Commissioner for Health has lectured us. Everything he said about the uniqueness of this center, I fully support and endorse. And my national chairman, the chairman of NMA, president of NMA, has affirmed there is no other facility in this as everything you have here. None. The cat lab center that you have also introduced here. Only three are functioning in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This is one of the three. But what, what makes this one unique? is that it belongs to a state government. No other one belongs to any state government. The uniqueness of this center is the fact that you enter through one door and everything you need to fight these two demons is inside here. Those of you who are privileged to go for treatment abroad, you know that you see the doctor in one building, they give you a paper to go and see another doctor in some other part of, be it London, be it the USA. And then for your investigations, you have to go to yet another distant place. But here, how God gave you the inspiration, only you and God can explain. You walk through this door, and everything you need is available under one roof. Only a doctor by DNA could have conceived this. That's why I say you should have been a doctor. But it's okay. You are in the legal profession. You've done well for them. You are a life bencher. All that is good. But here, you have done so much for humanity. The president of NMA tried to capture some of it. But you are not only laying infrastructure for healthcare. You are also training the human resources as we speak. You have close to 600 students on your scholarship. 
studying to work in places like this. Very soon, you will become the reference point for medical personnel in this country. God will answer our prayers. You have made River State the hub of medical services. And very soon, your colleagues will be begging you to send some doctors on loan to them. Because we know that starting from next year, the two medical schools that came to life under your regime will begin to turn out doctors. And no state will be competing with you in terms of indigenous medical personnel. So we thank you on behalf of Rivers people. But beyond that, we want to appeal to you to with your usual style of meticulosity and attention to details, ensure that those who are going to manage this wonderful facility are properly equipped to do so, but in addition, will operate with a sense of humanity, with respect for their patients, with discipline, and with the right attitude. And for my colleagues, patients are your employers. Patients are your employers. If you are a doctor and there's no patient coming to you, you are jobless. So let us begin to adjust our attitude to treat our patients with dignity, honor, and respect. Discipline is the key. Knowledge is bread and butter. Anybody who is admitted to study medicine can qualify and become a doctor or whichever branch you want to go to. But what will make you different is your discipline to work. You are there, you're supposed to be there at 8 a.m. You are there five minutes before 8. Don't stroll in as if you are coming to do the patients a favor. No. Your whole life by the Hippocratic Oath is for service to humanity to save lives. So, Your Excellency, let nobody influence you. Do what you think is best to ensure that 10 years from today, you'll come back and see this facility you've kept and nod your head that you made the right decision about those who will look after this facility. We pray that the Almighty God that gave you the idea will give you everything you need. As we prayed on the day you broke the ground, so that what you had in mind by establishing this center will be fulfilled and reverse people will forever eternally be grateful to you, our dear governor. It is on that note that in humility, I and my dear wife, the entire family, I want to thank you for this honor, for this immortalization of people who are alive, not dead. It is a unique history that you have written. Nigerians can now see the treasure that enemies of progress have denied Nigeria or are attempting to deny Nigeria. But God is omniscient, omnipresent, and all-knowing. Rest assured that God doesn't start and fail to finish. All I ask our people, let us stand with our governor, come rain, 
come shine, day, night, anywhere and everywhere you are. May God bless all of us. And we thank the governor for this break. Now who be the man who Peter Odili? Now who be the man again? Peter Odili. Oh yeah, as you carry the master to turn and to go. We come to follow me to the next level. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to give a speech. May I respectfully invite the Governor of River State, His Excellency Yesu Ezewawike, C-O-N, G-S-S-R-S, Life Venture. Your Excellency, my dear wife, our special guest of honor, our dear father, Alachi Aminu Adubayaru, Commander of the Federal Republic, Emir of Kano. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, Your Excellency, our dear leader, Dr. Peter Odile, and our mother and their wife, Speaker of the State House of Assembly, the former Deputy Speaker House of Representatives, the gubernatorial candidate and his deputy that are here, Chairman of the River State Traditional Rulers Council and members of their council, the same senators, particularly Senator John Asutan Bata and Senator Enko that are here. Party chairman, our uh, dear leaders, the MD of Jerusalem and their team, members of state, executive council, our uh, dear beautiful women, our uh, dear youths, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, let me thank our special guest of honor for honoring our invitation, even though at a short notice. I remember when I went to Kano, we were running around some few months ago. Our Royal Highness received me and my team in his palace very, very well. I want to use this opportunity to thank you again for the warm reception which you gave to us when we came and visited you in your palace. Today is not a speech-making day, but it's a day to thank God Almighty for making today a reality a reality in the sense that please, uh, the president of NMA, please forgive me. A reality in the sense that you heard when the president of the NMA spoke, he talked about abandonment of projects. He talked about non-completion of projects. And so we must thank God that 14 months ago, we are here on this soil. The Honorable Minister of Health came and laid the foundation of this hospital. Somebody before had named Caribbean, the Caribbean White Hospital, 1,000 bed hospital. As I speak to you, no block has been laid. So, Your Excellency, I congratulate you that we said it will be Dr. Peter Odele, Cancer, 
cardiovascular diagnostic treatment center. And it has come to reality. It has come to reality. Some of you may not understand. It is not an ordinary company that was given this responsibility. It is jealous beggar in case most of you may have forgotten. Maybe the MD came here just to see us. If I tell you the amount of money that was charged, and as I speak to you, we are not owing a dime in this project. Everything that has to do with the funding, even retention, we have paid. Let me thank Julius Berger for being committed, agreed to partner with us. I'm sure all of us who are from River State are living in River State. By the time you have the opportunity to go in here, you will say that anybody coming as governor of the state must not go below, below Jerusalem's standard. Yes, they may be expensive, but we deserve the best. The people of the state, we deserve the best. So whatever we can do for our people, it doesn't matter how much you spend, rivers people deserve it. I can assure you, just like our father advice, there is no lobby as far as this facility is concerned. The Consul General of American Embassy had agreed to partner with us as I speak to you, they have made contact with those who run hospitals very well overseas to come and partner with us in this. So it is not what I will leave for Minister of Health, no. Please, this type of facility is not leave it for Commissioner of Health and his staff in the ministry, no. It will not work that way. Because it will be painful if we come back here in the next five years and then you find out it is no longer what it is. That is why when you go to government house clinic, you can see the standard. You can compare government house clinic with any other clinic outside because of those we have brought there to manage it and not to leave it. I'm sorry, don't be offended to our civil servant. You are good, but not in all cases. You are good to carry files, but you are not good to maintain. And that has also been a problem for us in Nigeria. Beautiful things, even in the houses we build, to maintain it is a problem. Their own personal house, to keep it clean is a problem. Not to talk about public property. All you will do, what do you call Zambi? Not my own. I beg, leave my dear beg. That is the kind of uh, mindset we have. Your Excellency, I want to assure you that when people talk about this, look at what the uh, uh, enemy president said. People say, why should he be Dr. Peter Audley? And I said, okay, tell me who he should be. If you give me a better reason why he should not, I will remove his name. This is a man who has run one of the best clinics in this state as a medical doctor. This is a man who has served this state, this state as a governor for eight years. This is a man 
who have refused to join his colleagues in Abuja to form association of former governors so that they can be relevant in running around a presidential uh, candidate but has devoted himself of medical education, still serving the people, seeing how we can train more doctors and other health officers who then is more qualified for this facility to be named after. There are those, when they leave office, they don't bother about service again. That is why we are where we are. People became governor for eight years. People became senators for 16 years. Nobody cares home again. All they do is to live in uh, Abuja and form association of former senators, association of former councillors, association of former chief of staff, all kinds of things and then begin to hang around presidential candidates. Instead of them to make the presidential candidate to win the election, they begin to deceive them. He refused to be party to that. I go to his house, they say he's in the school. Doing what? Overseeing the welfare of students who are scholarship from River State to have medical education. So I'm very proud. I owe nobody any apologies at all, at all. I owe nobody any apologies for renaming the facility after you. If you are not happy, try and be a governor and name anywhere you want to name. If you can bring Jonas Beda to build, then I know that you have tried. Jonas Beda we have continued to partner with each other. Wednesday and Thursday, we commission the eighth and ninth flyover. Wednesday and Thursday, the Ikoku and Mbolu, or Woruko, where some of you call Ikoku before. And then, the one I took to my village. Because if I finish all these things, they will say, which one did you bring home? Because it cannot only be good away, it must also be good at uh, home. That's why I tell some people, wherever you are, make sure you bring something to the home. When you're a minister, when you go back, tell your people, I am back, I brought this, I brought that. If you don't tell them, Anything you see, you take. When I was a minister, I brought faculty of law to the University of Port Harcourt. When I was a minister, I brought oil and gas polytechnic in body. When I was a minister, I did a lot of primary and secondary schools here. When I was a minister, I gave financial grants to Kenyula Polytechnic and Ignatius Ajuri University. So, you cannot hold me. I didn't make any promise that you don't fulfill. Unlike those who say, we'll do from here to here, we'll bring University of Transportation here, this one here, and now the time is over. Now time is uh, over. There's nothing to bring again. So, this is our own report card. Promise made and promise uh, fulfilled. We are proud. So those who are saying that, why am I not inviting them to commission project? You invite me to commission in your own place. So I have a choice to invite whoever I want to come and commission a project. A biggy man, 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 in order for size, oh, biggy man, a biggy man, biggy man, a biggy man.
On Wednesday, Adam Toshomole will come and commission. On Thursday, Peter B will come and commission. As he did bend them, he did see with us. As he did see with us, he go to pepper them. Hey! On Friday, President Buhari will commission the Nadian Law School. Bora, bora, nobody get him bora like we go. Bora, bora, nobody get him bora like we go. On Monday, Kwan Kwan So will come and commission. Yes, so we can pepper them. 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 So, I choose those I want them to come. So if you want to have high blood pressure, it's your business. Let me plead with our people because there will be no opportunity for everybody to enter the facility because of the type of equipment that are there. I want to appeal to you, please, you don't need to come and struggle to enter, don't. It's only the VIPs here that will be allowed to enter there. No security, no police. Don't carry our gun and begin to shift people. Nobody will kill us there. Because we want them to go and see what is there. If we allow everybody here, it will be very, very dangerous for us. So we don't want to allow that. The hospital is not like a restaurant. So we have to be very careful. And so I've taken the responsibility myself to be at the gate there. To be at the gate so that we'll be able to reduce the number of people coming in. One day we'll open up the place for members of the public to come and uh, see for themselves. But obviously, I'm very, very proud for what our team have done. The Commissioner for Health, I congratulate you and the Minister of Health for supervising this project to fruition. And I can assure the people of River State, I've said it before, and I'll continue to say it, we will not abandon any project till we leave. We'll continue to work till 29th of May 2023. That is the promise I have made to all of you. And I want to commend the community for not making problems for Julius Berger, because if you have made problems with them, they would abandon the site and we would have lost. And you see, there's nothing, difficult, there's nothing too difficult to achieve in this country. Well, if we want to achieve it, we will achieve it. This is just within one year. The money was paid. It's not where National Assembly budget for a project like this of almost 26 billion, they will put for one year 500 million. A, a, a project that will cost 26 million. You are putting for budget for 500 uh, million. Then it will, not, it will not take you more than 20 years. And then the cost from 26 billion will be 100 or something uh, billion. That is why you see in this country abandonment of project, abandonment of project. So if we are really serious, in this country, to say that we'll get the best, I can tell you, it is not impossible. It is not impossible. By the time you come to law school on Friday, you can see that if we want to do anything, we can do it and we can achieve it. Within 10 months, we told the Council of Legal Education that we are going to bring them back within 10 months to come and commission a brand new law school. I'm happy that our politicians, for the first time, when you go there, the job was done by politicians. You know, they normally deny nothing, nothing, nothing. Everything there was done by them. But I can commend them. 
they did very, very well. So if you have time, come on Friday and see the law school. Better than the one my Lord, the wife of our leader attended. Better than the one OCGM attended. Better than the one the presiding justice uh, attended. Not to talk about my own. So if, if the one they attended is better, then you know our own was never in the existence. And it is joy to all of us that we have such school today in Port Harcourt. Let me therefore invite our special guest, whom I think because of the special relationship to his late father and with River State, would deem it necessary that no other person will commission this project other than him so as to continue with the relationship that existed between River State and his family. I therefore invite our special guest, Your Eminence, the Mayor of Kadu, Al Haji Abidin Ado Bayoro, Commander of the Federal Republic, to please do us a favor of coming to talk to your friends, River State, and then move a bit and commission this project. Thank you and God bless you. Yes, so we beg o ku e me we o ku le to be le o ku e me Yes, so we ke bo ku e me o ku le to be le e ku e me Yes, so we ke bo ku e me o ku le to be le o ku e me Yes, so we ke bo ku e me Bismillahi mina shaitan rajim Bismillahi rahman rahim Wa sallallahu ala nabil karim His Excellency The Governor of River State Her Excellency The Deputy Governor My elder brother The former Governor of River State And his amiable wife members of the National Assembly here present, former Deputy Speaker, House of Reps, the Chairman, River State Council of Traditional Rulers, and other traditional rulers here present, Nigerian Medical Association President, the MD Julius Baja, other distinguished personalities that name in time will not allow me to name them one after another. I greet you, good morning or good afternoon rather. Before I go into my speech, first I find it necessary to thank His Excellency, the Governor, for inviting me to this occasion. Indeed, it's not an honor to Aminu Adobayero. It's an honor to Kano Emirate Council 
and the people of Kano in totality. So on behalf of Kano State, I thank the governor. Secondly, I must confess one of the attributes of the governor I appreciate. I say one, there are a lot. Is his, or rather, his maintaining his promises. He always fulfilled a promise he made. I remember after becoming an emir, I was here on an official visit. And when I was leaving, the governor promised to invite me to come and, pro and uh, commission one of his projects. It's a year over, and he still fulfilled that promise. For that, I appreciate him. And uh, I pray with all the projects I have been seeing being commissioned, His Excellency will find himself at a higher level to do what he's doing for River State people. And uh, I'm back to Governor Audley. I'm happy meeting him here once more and his wife. And he's still looking young as I know him. I remember being here when he was a governor. I represent our late father at the meeting of the Traditional Rulers Council of Nigeria. For obvious reason, he couldn't make it that day, so he asked me to represent him. I represented him with other emirs, kings, and chiefs. The governor then asked me to stay for another day. I asked him why. He said the first day was as a representative of the Emir of Kano. The second day as a prince. I'm yet to figure out out of the two days which one I enjoy most. And I'm not ready to tell you. Well, I'm happy I'm back here today as somebody who succeeded his forefathers and I pray the visitation and the good relationship between Kano and Rivers will continue to grow from strength to strength. We are here today by the special gross of Almighty Allah to witness this historic groundbreaking ceremony of the official commissioning of Dr. Peter Audley Cancer and Cardiovascular Diseases Diagnostic and Treatment Center in Potakot River State. It is pertinent to first of all commend the sagacity and foresight of His Excellency Governor Nelson Wiki for initiating this very noble project and ensuring its, its completion to this logical extent. We congratulate His Excellency Governor Wiki, his government and indeed all good people of River State for this advice of which value and immense benefits to humanity can only be imagined. The dreaded disease, cancer, and its devastating effect on its victim cannot be overemphasized. It does not only destroy its victims and their families emotionally, but renders them financially incapacitated Consequently, cancer diagnosis and treatment can be said to be beyond the reach and affordability of the common man. With the commissioning of this center, thus afflicted with this disease and other oncological ailments can at least give a sight of relief 
for here is a circle at their doorsteps. This center, being the very first of its kind in the Niger Delta and Nigeria as a whole, will surely benefit people beyond the boundaries of this region. In the spirit of good neighborliness and being our brother's keepers, we assure patients from neighboring states and even states as far as Kano will not be turned away from this God-sent relief, relief center. There is no gain saying that infrastructures of this magnitude are very difficult to maintain. I hereby make an appeal that there should be a positive paradigm shift in our attitude towards maintenance culture. We therefore call upon the incoming administration and the people of River State to own this infrastructure by ensuring that this very vital center is well equipped and maintained at all times. The facilities should regularly be upgraded to meet global standards. The staff should be trained, retrained, and updated on latest medical technology and innovation as and at when due. This center should never be used as a revenue generation or profit-making venture. It should rather exist as a charity dividend of democracy to the good citizens of this state and beyond. It is a well-known fact that due to the oil and gas exploration in this part of the country, some of the IOCs may not have utilized the best global practices in their exploration, thereby exposing people and residents of this region to disease caused by gas flaring environment is therefore a matter of necessity. I want to particularly commend the governor for his resilience in ensuring that the menace of suit in River State has become a thing of the past. It is not also out of place to appeal to the federal government of Nigeria to borrow a leaf from the governor of River State and establish similar centers in each of, ge of the geopolitical zones so as to alleviate the suffering of those with cancer and cardiovascular related issues. This is a good step towards saving our people from embarking on medical tourism, which benefits the economy of other countries at the detriment of our ours, especially in these days of scarce and high foreign exchange rates. Governments at all levels are therefore called upon to imbibe this spirit, spirit of Governor Wiki in providing critical health care to people at an affordable rate. We cannot also turn a blind eye to the fact that the emergence of illegal external refining of crude, of crude oil, popularly, popularly called coal fire, can trigger the disease. We hereby support the governor in calling our young men and women to desist from such indulgence which is a catalyst for this incurable disease. Prevention, they say, is better than cure. I'm happy to be here in Port Harcourt. As my former governor said, there was a good, strong relationship that has existed with my late father and this state. I am ready to continue from where he stopped. We finally wish to thank His Excellency, the Governor, his team, organizers of the ceremony, and of course, not to forget the other half of the Governor, that's his wife, for being here and supporting him all the way. We thank Allah for this favor, and we pray for all of us to go back to our respective destinations safely. Assalamu alaikum.
O menu minha minutinha Joy we as in curry no two O ma me na nu we Joy O menu minha menu minha Joy we as in curry no two O ma bia ni we Ni una ma ma ku e se ku Joy we as in curry no two O ma me na nu we Joy we O menu minha menu minha Joy we as in curry no two my check. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, and on behalf of His Excellency, the Executive Governor of River State, and the former Governor, and all other dignitaries, I'm happy to be part of this commissioning ceremony, and I pray Allah will continue to guide and bless His Excellency and the edifice He has built. We thank Almighty Allah for this favor, and we pray. Allah will continue to bless him. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. All right, once more we are here and the executive governor is doing that. Alhamdulillah, may Allah continue to bless you at River State. Thank you very much. Special guest of honor, His Royal Highness Al Haji Aminu Adobairo has just performed the ceremonial inauguration of the Dr. Peter Odili Cancer and Cardiovascular Diagnostic and Treatment Center located in Rumokuta Community, Obiapo, local government area. Right now we have um, the Governor of River State. Right now, you have the governor of River State leading other dignitaries on tour of this ultra-modern facility. Ultra-modern facility that was uh, built and constructed at the cost of about 25 billion naira. It is officially inaugurated today for use for the treatment and uh, diagnosis of cancer-related ailments, uh, expected to benefit uh, residents of River State and beyond. Uh, just to take you back down memory lane, on the 5th of May 2021, the River State government approved the contract, the, the contract for the construction of the SAD Dr. Peter Odili Cancer and uh, Cardiovascular Diagnostic and Treatment Center. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the cost of 25.9 billion naira a few weeks later, this project was flagged off and uh, very quickly in the next month, in precisely in June 2021, the foundation stone for this center was laid by the Minister of Health, Professor Osage Ehanire. So today is the actualization, the fulfillment of that dream that began on the 5th of May 2021 when the government approved the contract for this project uh, this center has a modular uh, has a modular theater and other state-of-the-art medical equipment um, that uh, is expected to be used uh, for the purpose uh, for, for which uh, they were installed in this facility you see on your screen there ultra modern facilities ultra modern facilities have very sensitive equipment 
um, that are currently uh, being installed and ready for use going forward uh, from today. Uh, we, we hear several of the speakers saying that um, this center is expected to drastically reduce the rate of uh, medical tourism in Nigeria, the rate at which um, uh, people will need to travel outside the country to, re to receive special medical attention. Um, that's what this uh, project is expected to bring, uh, the value it, it's expected to bring and add to uh, Nigeria's health care and uh, um, um, health care and service delivery in the country. It's also a thing of joy for medical practitioners. You hear, um, you know, speaking on their behalf, the president of uh, the enemy here was also very excited that um, this project uh, would bring a new lease of life to the government's uh, effort and that of other stakeholders to tackle health care is concerned, um, cancer and cardiovascular related ailments. So um, the, uh, the medical practitioners are, are seeing this as a, as a win, as something to celebrate. And, and if I hear him, if I, if I recall uh, correctly, he said this is one of three in the country and the only one owned, uh, built, owned um, and possibly be managed by a state government. So it's a, it's a historic day for not just the state government, it's a historic day for, uh, the, for, for those in the medical practice. It's a historic day for those in the medical practice. And earlier, um, the special guest of honor in his speech said this is something that the federal government can borrow a leaf from, can learn from, and um, put something like this in each of the geopolitical zones in the country, one, at least one, in each of the geopolitical zones in the country, so that um, uh, people can have easier access um, to, to facilities like this, easier access to facilities like this. And I can see somewhere around this uh, complex, there is a helipad um, to ensure that, um, you know, to, to, to provide for easy access to this venue uh, for those who may not be able to arrive here by road, um, whose cases are so severe that they can't be transported by road. This facility, somewhere to my right, where I'm standing right now, there is a helipad um, that would uh, perhaps be used for um, the takeoff and landing of air ambulances. So it's an all-in-one package here. Um, treatment is here, um, di diagnosis is here, care is also here. So um, it's, it's a win-win for everybody. But of course, um, issue of maintenance is also one key issue that has been um, brought to the fore here. It was mentioned by the governor. The issue of maintenance was also harped upon by the special guest um, the Emir of Kano, His Eminence Al Haji Ado Bayero. Um, there is concern that um, maintenance, maintenance must be taken very seriously. Of course, the Emir pointed out there that um, the, the country doesn't have a very good maintenance culture. So he's hoping that five years from now, or perhaps a few years or a few months into the um, administration of the incoming government. Uh, this we, we will not be gathering here to to talk about what once was um, in the world. rather we will gather here when the, the story of this project is being told a few months from now a few years from now it will be a story of improvement on the foundation that has already been laid so that's it there um, let me read um, the Dr. Peter Odili Cancer and Cardiovascular Diagnostic and Treatment Center built by the administration of His Excellency Yesom Ezeonwike C.O.N. and host of other titles, Governor of River State and commissioned by His Royal Highness Alhaji Aminu Adobayero, CFR Emir of Kano on this day, the 14th of November, 2022. It's just been unveiled. It was unveiled a few moments after um, the ceremonial and symbolic tape cutting um, for this for this project. Um, uh, uh, you, you, you have the governor still on tour of this building, the first floor, second floor, and then the third floor um, of this facility. The governor is leading um, all that dignitaries on, on tour of this facility. And you heard him earlier appeal, appeal for, uh, uh, would I call it the uh, order? Or appeal for crowd control or voluntary crowd control, if you if you would call it that, uh, call it that, uh, because of the sensitivity of the kind of equipments that are in here. The governor appeals that you know appeals for people to you know watch from the outside or remain on the sidelines while he 
select those persons who would have access you know to view these these equipments firsthand so that's where we are we are still here um, awaiting the, the exit of the governor and of course for this program to officially round off it is the dr peter Odili, uh dr peter Odili cancer and cardiovascular diagnostic and treatment center you're still watching um, a live broadcast here from port harcourt um, I'll leave you um, to enjoy the tour of um, this particular facility uh, while we await the exit of the governor from the building. Thank you so much for watching.
I know I did confuse you cause I talk too much I'm so proud to tell my people I love you baby Hey Jamika, shut him up, oh no Oh yeah, let them go, say, oh no Somebody, somebody, yeah Yeah, let them know, say, somebody, somebody, yeah Yeah, when they come around, baby Always let them know, say, somebody, somebody, yeah, yeah, yeah. All I'm out you suppose, no, say, I did for you. My shape, I my phone, I did with you. I did with you. And if them tell you, say, I go run away, beat your chest and tell them, say, that life, say, life. Nobody, yeah. I say, I say, nobody, yeah. My money, no, yeah, nobody. Dr. Peter Ogili, Cancer and Cardiovascular Diagnostic and uh, Treatment Center, uh, Governor Nathan Wiki of River State, the chief host of this event, is still leading the special guest of honor today and other dignitaries from within and outside the state on tour of this three-story building, three-story ultra-modern brand new facility that is officially ready for use from today. Uh, at this point, we will be um, leaving this particular um, event from here and um, uh, transferring you back to regular programming uh, or, or in uh, TVC News. Uh, thank you so much for staying with us from Portacos on behalf of uh, the rest of the crew. We say a very big thank you and we hope that um, you enjoyed the program. We will be back possibly tomorrow or Wednesday and Thursday for um, further inaugurations uh, of projects completed by uh, the governor of River State, his administration here. But for now, it is um, goodbye and um, see you tomorrow or in a few days' time. Um, thank you so much for watching. Regular programming continues um, from this point. God bless you. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas, it shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move weigh in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known. For when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking advocating, protesting,
as the arts are meant to be. It's always a great morning on the TVC Breakfast Show. Thanks for joining us on TVC Breakfast. With the array of stories that matter and what's behind them. As you see, the first blue indicates the direction of government. Tell us what really is going on between uh, your union and the federal government. Once it's generated, you have if to you don't do, use it, it you, wastes. If we are not even sure whether we have a strategy for security. Are and you that, saying that there was nothing wrong in that? Was he the one driving the taxi? Answer the question. Reveal your morning with all you need to know. How does that fit into uh, your scheme of events or duties right now? No chief of staff, no general has the right to call a governor to order. The governor has been elected by his people. Start your day right because this is the breakfast show that adds to your breakfast. TVC Breakfast, weekdays at 7 a.m. Only on TVC News. Be and time. Finding the open doors of Main Street is not just good business. It's the start of the business. Join us every weekend on Business Week. So all in favor say aye. Those against me, the eyes are weak. What do you know about the legislature, its role in governance, and as one of the three arms of government? Lagos Parliament is here to bring it to you as it is. Here to bring you every detail you need to know about the legislature in Africa's most populous city. All Lagos Parliament to get a chance to meet the lawmaker of the week. Events are critically reviewed. You can also observe plenary in Yoruba language. I am Abimbola Agebi. Join me every Friday at 9 p.m. as I take you through the activities of the legislature. Well, thank you for staying tuned. Yes, like I said, I'm being joined via Zoom by the president of the Association of Rudishang Operators of Nigeria, uh, Laji, uh, Laji Aminu. Uh, 